my reproductive organ inside, what do you call it, my uterus. I don't know why they didn't take my um, cervix though. As far as I, I was supposed to take everything. So maybe they did, I don't know. But I have to go for a pap smear once a year because I had some aggressive tumors back when I was 30. So every year I gotta go for a pap smear. And I don't know if they always do, they take like a scraping off the inside. Is that what a pap smear is? I don't know. It hurts. I don't like it. I liked it better when it was just a Q-tip. <laughs> it's no longer just a Q-tip. So. Oh yeah, I had I had my son who is going to be 17 in a few days, and uh, then I got um, I don't know. I guess it was I thought they were fibroids or something like that. It's been a long time, so I don't remember. I better shut up my music or. The other day I got a letter, not like an email, because I had my TV on and so in the background was a movie and the movie wanted if if my video would happen to make any money, which they don't, but um, that they want it. What is that? I copyright. And I had my TV on. So I think that's hilarious. But hey, I guess that's how they live. So yeah, I had my son and then I after I had him I had I started to have a lot of complications. And um So I went in and they did a DNC because I had all these tumors. They thought they were fibroids. So they cleaned it all out and I went back like two weeks later and they were all back even bigger. Whatever they were, I don't remember. They, it ended up being precancerous. Um, so they DNC'd it one more time. They, so they DNC'd me twice because they were like, wait a minute, we must have missed some or something of that nature. So they went back in and they DNC'd it again and it happened again. It was like two weeks, it came back, bigger, more of them, and they were like, it's really aggressive, so um, we we're gonna take them out. Now, originally, I don't know why they didn't send them away to be tested, um, which I think they should have, um, but they didn't. But the last time they went in, when they took everything out, they sent it all the way to um, be tested, and it was precancerous. So I've had I had a breast tumor, and then my uterus and fallopian tubes and all that. And I don't know. I think my cervix is gone. Um, I think they just go in and they scrape the wall now just to make sure nothing is going on in there. Um, and then I had a tumor in my back, and the tumor in my back is back. And the funny thing is, I felt this itching, and I'm like, something's going on in there. That's how I knew I had a tumor the first time. I felt this weird feeling inside. So I gotta cut this short, because I don't want to be late, but. Um, so yeah, I felt this weird, tingly, itchy inside my back. And uh, it ended up being a tumor about the size of a grapefruit. It was huge. Um, so it's growing again, but they're keeping an eye on it as long as it doesn't, because it wasn't cancerous, that one. Uh, so they just take an MRI of it every year and a half or two years to keep an eye on it. Oh, and I got tumors behind both of my eyes. It's great. I'm like a tumor factory. Why? Why me? Why me? We all say that, right? Anyway, I'm going to go in and get my pap smear like a good girl. And if you need a pap smear, you should go get it done because it's not anything to play with. I know us girls hate getting it done, but gotta do it, gotta do it. Alright, see you soon. Bye!